Welcome to the Zions Bank Economic Update. I'm Deb Speed and joining me is Robert Spenlove to discuss the economic outlook for 2017. Robert, before we start talking about what we can expect for the coming year, why don't we take a look back at 2016 and can you shed some light on some of the main economic themes that we saw last year? Sure. The, uh, the kind of the big theme of 2016 was pre and post election. So what we saw uh, before the election in November was an economy that was going through uh, kind of the late stages of an economic uh, expansion. We saw growing but slowing unemployment. Uh, unempl uh, unemployment was dropping, uh, but it was at about the level that we see with full employment, uh, so kind of the natural state of unemployment. Inflation was below the target. Uh, we were seeing a lot of the signs of just an economy that was starting to come into the late stages. But then after the election, the election of, uh, of November was uh, a big surprise. And so what we saw was Republicans took over not only the White House, but Congress and pretty much all levels of government. And so the expectations were very different than people were uh, anticipating and what actually happened. And so we saw a big change in economic expectations going forward. Now that's not necessarily saying that there, there's support or opposition to President Trump, but it is a focus towards economic growth. So since then, we've seen our uh, expectations of inflation going up. We've seen uh, consumer confidence going up. We've seen uh, interest rates going up. So uh, what we've seen after the election is kind of an expectation that the economy going forward will be stronger and, may, uh, and, and any recessionary pressures have been pushed off for the time being. So what are some of your thoughts about how the economy will go next year? So the big theme for 2017 is going to be uh, kind of expectations. What's going to happen given the new uh, government? So once uh, President Trump enters office, uh, he will be uh, faced with a, a number of realities. Uh, number one, uh, how is Congress going to react to his ideas? Number two, how is the, uh, the, the bureaucracy in Washington, which is very large, how will they react to his ideas? How much of his proposals are going to be realistic? So most economists are expecting higher employ employment growth, lower unemployment. That will turn into what we're really hoping to see is labor force participation or the percent of the people uh, in the population who are actually actively working uh, will go up because we're starting to see uh, wage growth increasing. But the big question will be, what will be the ultimate impact? Will uh, President Trump be able to reduce taxes, reduce regulations, uh, uh, to renegotiate some of our trade agreements? And that's kind of the big question right now is to what degree we're, we're going to be able to see those economic stimuli. What about more locally? What can we expect to see? So uh, the, the western region of the United States is the strongest region of the country. Both Utah and Idaho are seeing very strong uh, growth, not only in population, uh, where both Utah and Idaho are among the, the top five fastest growing states in the country, but also in employment, where uh, again, Utah and Idaho are among the fastest growing states in the country in employment growth. We're also seeing extremely low unemployment. For instance, Utah recently had unemployment around 3.1%. And because of that, wage growth is accelerating. Uh, in Utah, uh, personal income growth is the highest in the country at about 5%. In Idaho, it's a little bit below the national average, but the forecast for 17 is that personal income will surpass the national average. And then we're also seeing a big influx of people moving into the states. Now the biggest downside risk that we're seeing at, at the state level is that we're starting to see a lot of labor shortages, specifically in areas that need uh, people with specialized training or skills. Uh, construction is being pulled back a little bit and some of those more specialized areas like high tech could actually see their growth constrained by the, those labor shortages. So if you had to sum up the U.S. economic outlook for 2017 in one word, what would it be? Ambitious. Great. Thanks, Robert. Thank you for joining us for this economic update. For more information and analysis, please visit zionsbank.com economy.